leave it all behind you, I said Take down everything that stands in your way Don't stop believing it'll work out again My friend, stand out and be a part of everything good Wake up, you're gonna be all that you should Try out all the things you always wanted to be You'll see, cause I know what I know Something I forgot to put in my last video, Donald Trump, Russian candidate, uh, uh, somebody wrote under, wrote a message under that video that reminded me of this thing that I forgot to say. His name is Jimmy Johnston, and he actually wrote a couple things. One of them I deleted, the other one I left up because I wanted to respond to it. Uh, the one that he, that he deleted, all right, I deleted, I'm trying to remember what he said, oh, um, he said that atheists who preach aren't real atheists, really, so atheists who don't express an opinion, those are, those are the real atheists, atheists who do have an opinion, and atheists who speak out against, uh, the oppression of religion, in my case, I suffered the oppression of religion for over 35 years of my life as a Christian myself. Um, I don't, I'm not an atheist if I want to speak out against that kind of thing. If I want to speak out against the kind of thing that oppresses other people like it oppressed me. Anyway, I deleted his comment because it was stupid. Um, but he wrote me under this Donald Trump precious candidate, wow, you can't act. Don't give up the day job. <laughs> On other channels, you are a Christian. Okay. Um, I have since blocked this person, so he won't read my comment. But if anybody would like to share a link under this video of me being a Christian on some other channel, I'd be fascinated to see that. I have not been a Christian since I... I'm pretty sure I was 45 when I, when I stumbled into atheism. I, I mean, I didn't actually go looking to become an atheist. It happened <laughs> by accident when I tried to um, reaffirm my faith, when I went looking for affirmation that my beliefs were correct as a Christian. That's when I became an atheist. And that was about almost 10 years ago now. So it, if you have a video of me being a Christian on YouTube, it's got to be pretty old because it hasn't been, <laughs> that has not been <clears throat> the case with me for a long time. Now, I'm an atheist. I've been an atheist for almost 10 years. So, but please feel free to share any links to stations or channels that show me being a Christian. Really would love to see them. He also says, wow, you can't act. Well, no shit. If I could act, I would be an actor now, wouldn't I? I don't, I didn't realize that putting an opinion on YouTube required acting ability. If I was trying to act, I would be acting in this video, but I'm not acting. I'm simply talking into a camera, which is something people can do without actually acting or having acting ability. However, I have actually acted, not to the point where I'm wonderful. I had small parts in theater theater pieces. I, I've been in 10 shows on stage. I uh, enjoy acting quite a bit, but I enjoy writing a lot more, and that's why I'm not on stage anymore. Between the fact that I was getting too old to play the kind of parts that I wanted to play, and the fact that I enjoy writing more, I'm not on stage. I've also been in, an extra in a couple films and TV shows. Again, it requires no acting ability to, to be an extra. They call it background atmosphere. That's what you are. You're just a, a human shape in the background. And um, I was in things that people probably, you can't go out and buy. I don't, I've looked for it, but you can't buy the TV show, The Fugitive, that was out uh, with Tim Daly. You can't, you can't buy that series. You can't buy the series uh, Citizen Baines with James Cromwell. I was in that. There was one. There was one episode that I really wish I could have seen because I might have actually had a 
a visible part in it more than just a blur because that's what mostly you see extras are just a blur uh, in Citizen Baines where I was sitting I was a homeless person and I got to have a bunch of shit put in my hair to make it look dirty and wear dirty clothes and sit sit at a picnic table with another homeless person looking dejected and I did a really good job of being dejected in that too and I never even got to see that sh that that episode once Citizen Baines I'm pretty sure was one of the TV shows that was canceled and I think um, this was a while ago but I'm pretty sure it was 9-11 that caused Citizen Baines and several other shows to die but that was a that I think it was on the air for maybe a, a half of a season but I was in that I was in uh, Angelina Jolie's movie life or something like it and you can actually see me in that one there's actually it's very brief but I'm waving a sign in a protest scene so I have actually been in the same room with Angelina Jolie. I sat at a rest at a table in a restaurant and I watched her. Um, they they had her do this line over and over and over. And they while they were filming her, they they did like 15 takes of her doing this line. And so I got to experience a lot of uh, really cool things. I saw Tim Daly in The Fugitive with some other woman, and I was an extra on a bus. And I got to listen to them go go doing their lines on this bus scene. So it was really quite exciting. I got to have a little bit of uh, exposure to what what movie making is about, and I know what the various uh, instructions are that actors hear over and over and over um, when they're when they're filming scenes. So yeah, I have actually done things related to acting, like having small parts on stage. But I'm not an actor. I've never actually walked around calling myself an actor. I have a headshot, too, that I had taken when I was 30-something. It's actually pretty cool. I wish I still looked like that. But yeah, I, I went through that whole thing where I actually did a lot of backstage work. I, I was um, the backstage manager in a show. I... I helped build sets, which was really cool. That's how I got into theater in the first place, building sets. But uh, the point is, the fact that this person looks at me talking on a video where I'm not trying to act, I'm just giving my opinion about something, and he says, wow, you can't act. You know, I wasn't trying to in this. I have actually tried to act before, and that wasn't what I was doing in this video with about Donald Trump being a Russian, Russia's candidate. But you, somebody who writes this kind of a pose, don't give up your day job. Trust me, I won't. Acting and writing both are usually things that people can't sub sub subsist on, if that's the word. It's pretty hard to live on those two careers unless you happen to be Stephen King or Brad Pitt. It's pretty hard to live at, and without having another job on the side. My full-time job, I will intend to keep even when I publish my book. So yes, I won't be giving up my day job. Um, but what this person succeeded to do with his little snide comment is remind me of the troll population on YouTube. And you know, in the past I was able to just kind of shrug it off as children, parents aren't home and the children have managed to get on the computer to post things. Trolls, you know? children trying to get attention. That's basically what I summed trolls up to be. But now with Trump's election, uh, it's forced me to realize that trolls are actually adults. Probably the majority of the trolls that you see on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter are adults. I mean, look at Donald Trump. He's, he's a troll. He's a 70-year-old fucking troll. And it is because of the mentality and maybe people just ignoring them, don't feed the trolls, allowing them to thrive and can continue to multiply, that we had Donald Trump in this election, that there was enough people actually nodding their heads and agreeing with this piece of shit, that he was able to continue to be a candidate. So yes, ignoring evil doesn't make it go away. Ignoring evil in my opinion, is the same thing as condoning evil. And I do think that there's another kind of human in America, or maybe in the world. There's humans, 
when I was when I was a kid, my mom my mom um, said that there were two kinds of people. There's the kind that soar with the eagles, and there's the, the bottom feeders. And I really think that she's correct. I think there are bottom feeders that bring everything down, including societies. They bring it down. And then there's people who soar with the eagles. They know that it's wrong to call somebody a name. They know it's wrong to attack somebody for something they cannot help, like their race, or what they look like, or how much money they have, or what religion they have. They know it's wrong to, t to discriminate and persecute somebody. And they don't do it because they know it's wrong. They don't need a little book, a little guidebook to tell them right from wrong. Neither. They just know what is decent and what is not decent. They know that strutting around saying that, are asking the question, are Jews people? Of course they're people. And one of those people that soar with the eagles would never even ask such a question. But they might look at the bottom feeders who would and say, are you a person? How can you be a person and ask such a question about another human being? You know, I would like to know, are Nazis people? <laughs> are these um, racist whatevers that have, have supported Trump and he's now electing them into his cabinet, are they people? They sure don't act like people. They're bottom feeders. They're trolls. They glom onto the parts of Christianity that, that justifies their, their destructive and harmful and oppressive agendas. And they say, oh look, God approves of, of me. God approves of my hate. God approves of my intolerance. I can, I can ridicule and attack and hurt this person because it says so in the Bible and God approves of it. Those are the bottom feeders, these trolls that have allowed this kind of corruption in our society to grow to the point that now we have this creature pretending to be an adult human being endangering all of us. I don't think it's right to ignore trolls and hope that they will go away. I think calling them for what they are, humiliating them, attacking them, belittling them, opposing them, is the answer. You don't ignore your enemies. You don't ignore Russia when they covertly invade your country. You don't ignore them and you don't ignore their tool pretending to be an American who cares about everybody. I want to bring the country together. Yeah. You don't ignore the enemies of the country, of this country. They don't, you don't ignore the enemies of decency and compassion and caring, and humanity, humaneness. The ones who think that these things don't exist, or shouldn't exist, or don't matter. Who don't think that rights are something everybody should have, but just a few select people. You don't ignore your enemy. If you ignore your enemy, they will rise up and they will kill you. So that's what our little friend Jimmy Johnson reminded me of the trolls. The trolls that have basically taken over this country because the decent people have let them.